And it's allergy season and you may be suffering right now. Meteorologist Craig Moeller has more on how the weather impacts pollen levels. <laughs> Sound familiar? Well, if so, you or someone close to you may be suffering from tree pollen allergies. It's that time of year again and we are nowhere near the peak of tree pollen season. Actually, we're just getting started. I want to share some of the ways weather impacts pollen levels we experience. Now, sure, you've heard of pollen. You've seen it, that yellow gunk deposited on your hood of your car. But do you know what it is? The American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology defines pollen as tiny grains needed to fertilize many kinds of plants and trees. While some pollens are carried from plant to plant by pollinators like bees and this little butterfly, Tree pollens are often carried by the wind. The weather has a big impact on the amount of pollen we see from day to day and hour to hour. Pollen counts are higher on warm, dry, and windy days. Conversely, the counts are normally lower when it's cool and wet. Rain and high humidity weigh the pollen down and deposit it on surfaces, preventing it from traveling in the wind, at least temporarily. But too much rain at once can cause allergy problems too. Heavy downpours saturate and can fracture pollen, releasing small particles in high concentrations into the air. People inhaling these high concentrations can experience worse reactions. It's a condition referred to as thunderclap asthma. So it's actually better to have lighter showers over several days to lower the levels. Now, the amount of rain we get during the autumn and winter months can impact pollen levels the following spring. More rain during the chilly months can lead to more pollen down the road. And if we have a really warm winter, the pollen season can start earlier and last longer than usual. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America also sees climate change as a contributor to the higher pollen levels. Warmer temperatures not only support a longer growing season, but higher levels of carbon dioxide in the air also stimulate the trees to increase pollen. The tree pollen season normally goes from late February through June. Grasses also contribute their pollen from April to June. And ragweed kicks in a bit later in the summer and can continue into the fall from July to November. As we continue to deal with the pollen over the coming months, 13 News Now will keep you informed with daily updates on the levels we're seeing and the forecast when things may change in the coming days.